And new tonight, a local city council vote may be in violation of a future federal law. Their decision about a gun control measure could have the city council members facing federal charges. Local 2's Camille Williams is joining us live in League City tonight with what the council there is trying to do. Camille? Well, Bill, the city council here in League City says that they have a high number of residents who have a concealed handgun license. So passing this resolution was top priority. The real intent behind the Second Amendment is not for hunting. It's not for shooting skeet. It's really about self-defense. A defense League City City Council plans to use against the federal government if they pass any new gun laws. Heidi Teese sponsored the resolution approved by council last night. It states they will not comply with any new gun laws. While President Obama was giving this speech. Because in the two months since Newtown, more than a thousand birthdays. Graduations, anniversaries have been stolen from our lives by a bullet from a gun. During the State of the Union address, the council voted to protect their rights no matter the cost. I cited the Second Amendment, the Ninth, the Tenth, and then our own Texas Constitution, all of which affirm and reaffirm our Second Amendment rights. For some League City residents like Michael Puga, they're on board. I believe that, you know, guns are were given to us for a reason. Um, we use them every day to protect, you know, our government. And as far as abolishing them in the cities and in the states, it's, I think it's ridiculous. But others think it's a bad idea. And Texas has always been a very pro, everyone gets to have as many guns as they want. So I understand why they would take a stand against it. It just doesn't seem very wise. And back live. Now, regardless of what the city says, a legal expert tells me that if you do not follow the federal law, any federal law, you will be arrested or even sent to federal court to be prosecuted. Reporting live in League City, Camille Williams, KPRC Local 2. Thank you, Camille. Now, we've posted the resolution on our website if you'd like to read it. And if you'd like to read the resolution, it's in the top story section of clicktohouston.com.